We could be inhaling pollens right now, and it is a well-known fact that pollens from certain plant species like barge and ragweed are responsible for hay fever and other allergenic problems. But did you know that barge pollen allergen is one of the major causes of hay, um, allergic reactions? And these reactions have been increasing throughout the world, especially within westernized urban areas. Are you suffering from hay fever? If yes, then you know the annoying symptoms that affects productivity in adults and makes learning more difficult in children and can even trigger asthma attacks. My family is suffering from hay fever and about one in four Britons are now affected as compared to one in eight in the early 80s. A century ago, this illness was almost unheard of. There is an evidence suggesting that the interaction between the pollen grain Air pollutant and weather change is increasing the allergenicity of the pollen and thus increasing the misery of hay fever sufferers. However, the reasons are still not well understood. In my study within the laboratory, I investigated the changes that occur on the pollen grain upon exposure to one of the key primary air pollutant, nitrogen dioxide. As you can see, it comes predominantly from the car exhaust. My samples were then analyzed using a proteomics approach, which looks at the whole structure of a protein. And in the result, I observed that a specific modification called nitration has occurred on the protein responsible for triggering allergic illnesses in humans, thus suggesting the possible reason for increased allergic diseases to such altered proteins. Now that I have demonstrated the link between the pollen modification and air pollutant, I intend to investigate further using a statistical model to see if there will be a clear signal of increased allergic illnesses when both the pollen and pollutant concentrations are high. In particular, I will be working with the ambulance call-out data, a date, real-time data that contains all the medical conditions you can think of. I have already established the basic relationship between some of these medical conditions and temperature. Now I want to see the effect of the pollen and pollu pollution on the hay fever call-out rates. And hopefully my PhD completed result will serve as an early warning tool for health surveillance systems so that you know when to pack up your tissues and have your antihistamine handy. Thank you very much.